In this video, we're going to calculate the acceleration due to gravity for the Earth, the Moon, Mars, and the minor planet series, or the dwarf planet series. Um, so we're going to ignore any atmospheric effects that uh, might be present. So taking a look at uh, being able to compare these objects uh, a little better, with ignoring the atmosphere, because some of them don't have atmospheres. Um, but let's go into the physics of this. Uh, Newton's second law says that the force on the object, net force, equals the mass of the object multiplied by its acceleration. And Newton also developed the law of gravity, that the force of gravity between two objects would be the gravitational constant g times the mass of the planet or whatever other object you're considering, and the mass of the object multiplied divided by the distance squared, and this r is the distance between the centers of the two objects. That is uh, important. The mass needs to be in kilograms, and this r value is in meters, and we are going from, and I probably should not do it, draw it like that. Um, we're going from the center of the object of the planet to the center of the object that's right on the surface of the planet. We're, <clears throat> we're not doing the gravitational attraction some further distance away. The acceleration there would be different than the acceleration right on the surface of, say, the Earth. So we are calculating this right on the surface of the Earth, or the surface of the Moon, or the surface of Mars, or the surface of the dwarf planet series. So these two forces, uh, are the same force for our discussion here. So we can substitute for the force in this gravitational law. We can s substitute ma. And you can uh, readily observe here that the mass of the object cancels off. We are just going to be finding the value of the acceleration due to gravity. And it's going to be equal to the gravitational constant that gravitational constant in metric units is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. That's our value for capital G. And the mass of the object and the radius of the object, that's going to change from one object to the other. So you should do this uh, calculation. I'm going to write this one out. Um, the acceleration for the case of the Earth at the surface of the Earth, and this would be um, usually denoted with a small g, but let's just leave it as a, acceleration due to gravity. So we'd use the gravitational constant, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. We multiply by the planet's mass, 5.9736 times 10 to the 24th kilograms. And then we divide by the radius, 6.376 times 10 to the 6, assuming the Earth is a sphere. And we're going to be squaring that value. You divide by r squared. So you should check this on your calculator. I came up with 9.80 um, meters per second squared. So that would be the case for the Earth. I'm not going to do the calculations in detail here, but for the moon, uh, 82 times less massive than the Earth, smaller than the Earth, and the uh, acceleration value, again, take the gravitational constant, multiply by the mass, divide by the radius squared, and I find an acceleration value of 1.61 uh, meters per second squared, about one-sixth of the value of uh, the Earth's acceleration due to gravity. Then putting in the Mars uh, mass and squaring its radius as well, uh, the acceleration is 3.7 meters per second squared. And the uh, dwarf planet Ceres, using its number, the acceleration is 0 0.28 meters per second squared. So if you were to take a, uh, a ball, to each of these objects and drop them. I'll drop one here. This pin accelerates towards the Earth at 9.8 meters per second squared. On the Moon, it's going to drop more slowly. 
It's not going to accelerate as fast. On Mars, again, a smaller value for the acceleration. And for the dwarf planet Ceres, it's just going to just gradually drift down towards the surface. So there we are with acceleration due to gravity. We could, it does not depend on the mass of the object that's falling. Uh, it depends on the mass of the main body, the planet, and the uh, radius squared. And I am doing a little simplification that uh, the planet's mass is completely dominating the situation, just using a small mass up here um, and saying that the Earth stays at rest while I drop this uh, marker towards the Earth. Um, so there you have it. Ask your instructor if you have questions about the acceleration due to gravity. If you have other physics and astronomy questions, my YouTube videos are listed and annotated, described a little bit. Uh, Physics.gpclements.com, astronomy.gpclements.com. We'll see you in the next video.